Don Cheadle stands as one of Hollywood's most versatile and respected actors, seamlessly transitioning between hard-hitting dramas, blockbuster action films, and nuanced comedic roles. Born in Kansas City, Missouri, in 1964, Cheadle's journey to stardom began with his breakout role in Devil in a Blue Dress, 1995, where his magnetic performance as Mouse Alexander caught the industry's attention. His career reached new heights with the critically acclaimed Hotel Rwanda, 2004, earning him an Academy Award nomination for his powerful portrayal of Paul Ruzisabagina. Cheadle's filmography sparkles with memorable roles in Crash, Traffic, and his recurring role as Colonel James Rhodes' jock war machine in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, starting with Iron Man 2. Beyond the silver screen, Cheadle's talents extend to television, where he earned a Golden Globe for his role in House of Lies, 2012-2016. His work in Black Monday further showcased his ability to balance drama with sharp comedic timing. As of 2024, Cheadle's net worth is estimated at around $40 million, reflecting both his successful acting career and his ventures as a producer and director. Beyond entertainment, he's known for his passionate activism in climate change awareness and humanitarian causes, particularly in Sudan. Join us as we have a look at Don Cheadle net worth, mansion tour, wife, family, and much more. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel to watch other interesting videos. Donald Frank Cheadle Jr. was born on November 29, 1964, in Kansas City, Missouri, into a middle-class family that valued education and creativity. His father, Donald Frank Cheadle Sr., worked as a clinical psychologist, while his mother, Betty Cheadle, was a teacher. The family dynamic played a crucial role in shaping his future outlook and aspirations. Cheadle's childhood was marked by frequent moves due to his father's career, which exposed him to diverse communities and experiences. He grew up alongside two siblings, his brother Colin and his sister Cindy. This mobile lifestyle, though challenging, helped young Don develop adaptability and social skills that would later serve him well in his acting career. The family's relocations took them through various cities, but they spent significant time in Denver, Colorado, where Don attended East High School. It was during his high school years that Cheadle's passion for performing arts began to flourish. He participated in school plays, jazz band, and various theatrical productions, demonstrating early signs of his multifaceted talent. At East High School, Cheadle wasn't just involved in arts. He was also an active student who participated in multiple extracurricular activities. His academic excellence and artistic abilities earned him recognition among peers and teachers alike. During this time, he also started performing with the Denver Theater Company, gaining valuable stage experience. After graduating from high school, Cheadle pursued higher education at the California Institute of the Arts, CalArts, in Valencia, California. He graduated in 1986 with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Theater, CalArts proved to be a transformative experience for Cheadle, where he honed his craft under the guidance of experienced professionals and alongside other aspiring artists. During his college years, Cheadle began to develop his distinctive acting style, combining intense dramatic capability with subtle comedic timing. He participated in numerous student productions and began to build the foundation for his professional career. His time at CalArts also exposed him to various acting methodologies and theatrical traditions, broadening his artistic perspective. Don Cheadle, Wife and Children Don Cheadle's love story with Bridget Coulter spans several decades, beginning in the early 1990s, during a period when both were working to establish themselves in the entertainment industry. Bridget Coulter, an actress and interior designer, first met Cheadle in 1992 while they were both pursuing acting careers in Los Angeles. Their initial encounter reportedly occurred through mutual friends in the entertainment circle, 
and they quickly found common ground in their shared passion for arts and activism. Coulter, born on August 2, 1968, had appeared in various television shows and films, including Martin and Class of 96. She later transitioned into interior design, founding her own successful design firm, Bridget Coulter Design. Her multifaceted career complemented Cheadle's artistic pursuits, creating a partnership built on mutual understanding and support for each other's professional endeavors. What makes their relationship particularly interesting is their unconventional approach to marriage. Despite being together since 1992 and building a family, they didn't officially marry until 2020. The couple surprised many when they quietly tied the knot during the COVID-19 pandemic, with Cheadle later revealing the news during an appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show in 2021. Their decision to marry after nearly three decades together showcased their unique approach to commitment and partnership. Together, Don and Bridget have raised two daughters, Ayana, born in 1995, and Imani, born in 1997. Both parents have been notably protective of their children's privacy, keeping them largely out of the spotlight, despite their own public profiles. This conscious decision reflects their commitment to providing their daughters with as normal an upbringing as possible, despite their father's Hollywood status. The couple's parenting style has been described as balanced and grounded, with both Cheadle and Coulter emphasizing education, creativity, and social consciousness. Their daughters have grown up in an environment that valued both artistic expression and social responsibility, mirroring their parents' involvement in various humanitarian causes and activism. Throughout their relationship, they've maintained a relatively private personal life while remaining visible in their professional and activist endeavors. Their ability to balance public and private life has been crucial to their longevity as a couple in Hollywood, where relationships often face intense scrutiny. The couple has worked together on various projects over the years, including collaborating on social justice initiatives and environmental causes. Their professional lives have intertwined in ways that strengthen their personal bond, with Coulter's design work occasionally intersecting with Cheadle's entertainment projects. Don Cheadle Film Career Don Cheadle's journey into acting began during his high school years in Denver, Colorado, where he discovered his passion for performing arts. His early exposure to theater came through school productions and community theater, where he quickly showed natural talent. While still in high school, he performed with the Denver Theater Company, gaining valuable stage experience that would later prove instrumental in his professional career. After graduating from CalArts in 1986, Cheadle began his professional career with small television roles. His earliest television appearances included guest spots on popular shows like Fame, L.A. Law, and Hill Street Blues. These early roles, though minor, helped him establish a foothold in the industry and develop his craft. His first recurring role came in 1988 on the hit series Picket Fences, where he played District Attorney John Littleton. This role helped increase his visibility in the industry and demonstrated his ability to handle complex, dramatic material. Cheadle's breakthrough in film came with his memorable performance as Mouse Alexander in Devil in a Blue Dress, 1995, alongside Denzel Washington. His portrayal of the volatile but charismatic character earned him widespread critical acclaim and several critics' awards. This role effectively announced his arrival as a serious film actor. Throughout the 1990s, he appeared in several notable films, including Rosewood, Boogie Nights, 1997, Out of Sight, 1998, Bullworth, 1998. The 2000s marked Cheadle's ascension to Hollywood's upper echelon. His role in Traffic, 2000, as DEA agent Montel Gordon, showcased his ability to stand out in an ensemble cast. However, it was his powerful leading performance in Hotel Rwanda, 2004, that truly cemented his status as one of Hollywood's finest actors. 
his portrayal of Paul Rusa Sabagina earned him Academy Award and Golden Globe nominations, demonstrating his ability to carry a film of significant historical and emotional weight. Other notable films during this period included Ocean's Eleven, 2001, and its sequels, Crash, 2004, Rain Over Me, 2007, Talk to Me, 2007. In 2010, Cheadle took over the role of Colonel James Rhodey Rhodes, Josh War Machine, in Iron Man 2, replacing Terrence Howard. This role introduced him to a new generation of viewers and showcased his ability to handle action-oriented roles while maintaining character depth. He has continued to appear in numerous Marvel films, including Iron Man 3, 2013, Avengers, Age of Ultron, 2015, Captain America, Civil War, 2016, Avengers, Infinity War, 2018, Avengers, Endgame. 2019, while building his film career, Cheadle continued to make significant strides in television. His starring role in House of Lies, 2012-2016, as management consultant Marty Kahn, earned him a Golden Globe Award and multiple Emmy nominations. The role allowed him to showcase both his dramatic and comedic talents. His work as producer and star of Black Monday, 2019-2021, further demonstrated his range as an actor and his ability to take on executive roles in production. The series, set in the lead-up to the 1987 stock market crash, earned him additional Emmy nominations. Cheadle made his directorial debut with Miles Ahead, 2015, a biographical film about Miles Davis, in which he also starred. The film showcased his abilities behind the camera and his commitment to telling complex, nuanced stories about significant cultural figures. Throughout his career, Cheadle has been known for his meticulous preparation and dedication to authenticity in his roles. He often immerses himself in research and character development, whether playing historical figures or fictional characters. His ability to disappear into roles while maintaining a distinctive presence has become one of his trademarks. Over his career, Cheadle has received numerous accolades, including Academy Award nomination, Hotel Rwanda, Golden Globe Award, House of Lies, multiple Emmy nominations, Grammy Award, Miles Ahead Soundtrack, and multiple Screen Actors Guild Awards. In recent years, Cheadle has continued to take on diverse roles while expanding his work as a producer and director. His involvement in projects like Space Jam, A New Legacy, 2021, and various Marvel productions shows his continued ability to appeal to different audiences while maintaining his artistic credibility. Throughout his career, Cheadle has demonstrated remarkable versatility, moving effortlessly between drama, comedy, and action genres. His journey from a theater student to an acclaimed actor, producer, and director serves as an inspiration to aspiring performers. His commitment to both his craft and social causes has established him as not just a talented performer, but also a thoughtful artist who uses his platform to address important issues. His career continues to evolve, with new projects regularly announced, showing that even after decades in the industry, Don Cheadle remains one of Hollywood's most respected and sought-after talents. Don Cheadle Net Worth Don Cheadle, a respected American actor and filmmaker, known for his versatility and powerful performances. With a career spanning over three decades, Cheadle's impressive portfolio includes notable roles in television, film, and streaming series, adding significantly to his net worth. As of recent estimates, Cheadle's net worth stands at around $40 million, a result of both his movie salaries and his work as a producer and director. Don Cheadle's film career took off in the 1990s with roles in films like Devil in a Blue Dress, 1995, Boogie Nights, 1997, and Out of Sight, 1998. While these roles didn't initially command high salaries, 
They were significant stepping stones in his career and helped him gain recognition as a skilled character actor. Cheadle's first major payday came with Ocean's Eleven, 2001, and its sequels, Ocean's Twelve, 2004, and Ocean's Thirteen, 2007. Although his exact salary for each of these films isn't publicly known, his increasing popularity and the film's success likely secured him solid compensation in the low seven-figure range. His role as Basher Tar, a skilled explosives expert, was memorable, and his rapport with the ensemble cast helped cement him as a Hollywood A-lister. One of Cheadle's most financially rewarding roles has been his portrayal of Colonel James Rhodey Rhodes, or War Machine, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU. He took over the role from Terrence Howard in Iron Man 2, 2010, and went on to reprise it in Iron Man 3, 2013, Avengers, Age of Ultron, 2015, Captain America, Civil War, 2016, Avengers, Infinity War, 2018, Avengers, Endgame, 2019, and other MCU projects. Marvel movie salaries are often substantial for major recurring roles, and by the time of Avengers, Endgame, Cheadle was reportedly earning several million dollars per film, with estimates ranging from six million dollars to eight million dollars for his role in Endgame. His involvement in these blockbusters significantly contributed to his net worth and provided steady income over the years. Beyond films, Cheadle has also made a name for himself on television, which has contributed to his wealth. In the Showtime series House of Lies, he played the lead role of Marty Kahn, a cunning management consultant from 2012 to 2016. For his performance, Cheadle earned an estimated $150,000 to $200,000 per episode. Over five seasons, this added millions to his income. His performance on House of Lies earned him multiple award nominations and a Golden Globe win, further solidifying his reputation and demand as a leading man in Hollywood. In addition to his acting roles, Cheadle has ventured into production and directing. He produced and starred in Miles Ahead, 2015, a biographical film about jazz musician Miles Davis, for which he also received critical acclaim. While not a major box office hit, Miles Ahead showcased his talents beyond acting and added to his professional accolades. Cheadle's $40 million net worth is a testament to his ability to balance blockbuster roles, critically acclaimed performances, and creative pursuits. His involvement in both high-paying franchises like the MCU and projects with smaller budgets yet significant artistic value has allowed him to build a stable and diverse portfolio. Don Cheadle is not only a celebrated actor, but also a dedicated activist, particularly recognized for his work in climate change advocacy, social justice, and international humanitarian efforts. His environmental activism gained prominence in 2010 when he became a United Nations Environment Program, UN and EP, Goodwill Ambassador. In this role, Cheadle actively raises awareness about climate change, urging both individuals and governments to take action against environmental degradation. He has used his platform to promote sustainable practices and participated in campaigns like UNEP's Seal the Deal, encouraging world leaders to commit to climate action. Cheadle is also deeply involved in humanitarian efforts for regions impacted by war and poverty. He co-founded the Not on Our Watch project alongside other actors such as George Clooney, Brad Pitt, and Matt Damon, focusing on preventing mass atrocities. This initiative has provided vital support to Darfur, where Cheadle personally visited to witness and understand the conditions refugees face. His experiences there were documented in his book Not On Our Watch, The Mission to End Genocide in Darfur and Beyond, co-authored with John Prendergast, emphasizing the urgent need for global intervention. In addition to environmental and humanitarian activism, Cheadle is vocal about social justice and equity, frequently advocating for racial equality and reforms in policing. 
By leveraging his public influence, he strives to foster greater awareness and drive systemic change across these crucial areas, making him a powerful advocate for both human rights and the environment. Don Cheadle is an acclaimed actor with a career marked by numerous prestigious awards and nominations. Known for his versatility and depth, Cheadle has earned multiple nominations across major award platforms, including the Academy Awards, Golden Globes, Emmy Awards, and Screen Actors Guild Awards. One of his most celebrated roles was in Hotel Rwanda, 2004, where he portrayed Paul Rusasabagina, earning him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. His performance in the film brought him widespread recognition and solidified his status as a powerhouse actor. Cheadle won a Golden Globe for Best Actor in a television series, musical or comedy, for his role as Marty Khan in House of Lies, 2013. His work on the series also earned him several Emmy nominations, adding to his reputation as a skilled comedic and dramatic actor. Cheadle has also won multiple Screen Actors Guild Awards, including one as part of the ensemble cast in Crash, 2005, which won Outstanding Cast in a Motion Picture. His accolades reflect his dedication to his craft and his ability to bring authenticity and depth to diverse roles. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.